Okay, CXF pros, here we are for round two. This is varsity boot camp leg day. It is by far my favorite day. Um, it is a huge compliment to today's class that I posted, which was hit muscle up, which is more specifically for upper body. If you can do both of these classes back to back, that is perfect. You will have gotten in upper body, you will have gotten in lower body with a bunch of good core and a bunch of good hit. So a lot of good calorie burning as well. Um, try to stay consistent as possible with your workout routines, guys. This is the best way for us all to kind of stay sane in these uh, trialing times, during these trialing times. Um, anyway, stay positive. I'm here for you. Let's get this done. We are going to quickly go over what you will need to do this workout. Leg day, pretty basic, but some really good, hard, fun stuff. Um, we're gonna head in the main studio now. If it's just you doing the workout, all you'll need is one set of dumbbells, preferably whatever you would do for lunges, for squats, whatever you think. Something you can rack up on your shoulders, but something you can also hold down uh, by your sides. So we got 15s and 20s here, and a mat if you can, guys. And then you will definitely want a resistant band like this if you can. Um, if you don't have a resistant band, it's not uh, crucial. You can do most of these exercises without. Um, and then if you have a lighter one than what we have, these are the ultra heavy ones. If you have a lighter one than that, like another color, a green or a red or a blue, whatever the other colors are, that's totally fine too, whatever works. Okay, let's get it done. Okay guys, this is your leg day for varsity boot camp. We just crushed the hip muscle up this morning. So this is gonna be the one for tomorrow morning. Hope you guys like it. Let's just try to keep the pace again. Celebrity Marilee Melek in the house to crush legs. Okay, let's go. Let's do some good high knees. We'll do the same warm up just to get you guys in the game. Make sure that we are staying warm before we stretch or get you warmed up before we stretch. High knees, do some good butt kicks. Soften up those joints, soften up your landing. Good. Perfect. And then from there, you guys can go the wide stance for those ski, soft, ski shuffles. Soft, soft, soft. Good, steady out that breathing. Nice control, perfect. Okay, do some good arm circles. Whew. Breathe it out. Cross over and under. Yeah, good. All right, from that position, let's drop yourself down to that really good groin stretch. You're definitely gonna wanna make sure these hip flexors and all these leg muscles are loosened up before we crush those legs. Good, you can keep moving with these stretches too. You don't need to stay static. Okay, do your good down dog. Take your time. From there, big mountain step up for those hip flexors. Again, always push out and in. Forward and back. Awesome. Same idea, let's hit the other side. Sink down into it. Move forward and back. Open up that leg. Good. Okay, back to that good down dog. Nice. From there, rock out your up dog, core, lower back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. And walk back to your toes. You can stretch these hamstrings. Come up slow and steady, take your time. Awesome, drop into that really good lunge stride. Steady out that breathing, guys, nice and easy. Put your hands down and rotate. Good, open up. Same idea, other direction, same stance. Open up. Good. You can even look up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, switch your stance. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Drop into it. Good. Hands down to rotate. Breathe nice and easy. Other direction, same idea. Marilee is ready to crush it. <laughs> Legs are my favorite. Last time good down dog. And then let's go last time good up dog. <sighs> Breathe nice and easy. Good. Walk back to your toes. Stretch the hamstrings. Stay down here a little bit. All right, come up nice and easy. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Your 10 good jumping jacks. And then we'll get you guys started. So you guys know what tools
tools we're using. We already went over that, so let's crush it. We got the body weight set starting. Good. Let's do it. Here we go. So first come first, guys. We are going to do the body weight set, which is just going to include a bunch of hit cardio drills, specifically working on the legs. We'll get these suckers loosened up pretty quickly, and then we'll do that twice. So 30 seconds through four drills. We'll do it twice. And then we'll show, demonstrate all the dumbbell drills and go through the whole dumbbell set, okay? And we also have bands today too, guys, so it's gonna be a fun day. Let's see what you guys got. So first come first, the first body weight drill is going to be your quick feet into your wide outs. So that's eight each side of your quick feet, as fast as you can. Count to 16 if you count fast, but eight each side, as fast as you can. And then you're gonna drop into four wide outs. One, two, three, and four. Good? So quick feet, eight each side, four wide outs. Keep the pace, always stay athletic ready position. This is like a huge posture form for doing legs especially. So pop the butt out, chest always up, you're ready to like throw a ball or catch a ball, whatever it is. Move those feet as fast as you can, stay light in your feet. You ready? Let's get you guys going. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. So again, 80 shy, quick feet, as fast as you can. Four wide outs. One, two, three, four. Good. Marley's doing it good. Just always drop those hips back and try to get that butt down. Good. Let's try to burn out some calories again today, guys. Stay with it. So you guys have 12 seconds left. Perfect. Nice. Good. Good. Always setting out the breathing. No need to hold your breath. Stay with it. Almost. Two and one. Okay. Your next one. You're going to go right into four each side, so eight in total, of your power lunges, where you try to get that knee as close as you can down to the ground. Just hover it. Opposite hand touches, give me eight. And then right away, you're gonna try to do eight skaters where you touch opposite hand, but you get that leg to kick back to the side. Okay, ready? Eight and eight. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. So Marilee has a little bit of a knee issue that she's had for several years. So she'll modify some of these things for you guys. She's doing a really good job like that. If you want to modify the power lunge, the real power lunge is drop down and you switch right away. Drop down. And they almost like, switch like scissors in the air, like, right? Now, if you have to, you just come up, keep going, right, almost there. Come up, drop down, come up, drop down, good. So keep wrapping it up, you're almost there. You got the skaters, good. Two and one, nicely done, good. Okay, next set, you guys have that really wide stance sumo squat. I want you to give me <laughs> 10 of the sumos. Just pulsing it out, stand so low here. And then you're gonna drop your hands and you're gonna quickly sprawl out like a burpee with no push up. And then do it again. So 10, 2, 3, 4. Get to 10, sprawl out, come back up, do it again. Get to 10. Good. Ready, Mare? 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Chest stays up, shoulders stay back. Come up a little bit just so we don't knock you out of the camera. There you go. Good. 10. Pulse it out. Clock's going, guys. It's only 30 seconds. Next round will go really fast here. Now that you guys have learned the drills, stay with it. Good. This is drill number three of four. Perfect. Always have that chest up. If you guys break that 90 degrees, you're down here, that means you're getting depth to kick in the glutes. So stay with it. Almost. Almost. Two and one. Nicely done. Good finish. If you did an extra push up, you didn't have to. <laughs> okay, your last one, guys. 30 seconds again. Round one is the power kicks. Power kick is you're going to try to hold one leg up and you switch to the top. And then switch again. And then if you can, you just keep that pace. And that's too hard, do like a four count, shake it out, repeat, four count, shake it out, four to modify, just kick normal. Good? But get those legs up as high as you can. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Kick up. Yeah, good. Marily is a pro at this one. <laughs> She's killing it, that's awesome. You can see how her legs are coming up level of the ground every time, that's the key. Legs are coming up. She's really soft landing. That is perfect. Almost there. Almost there. You have 10 seconds left, guys. Then we'll try to quickly go through and repeat all four of these drills one more time. By this time, you should be just about warmed up. Stay with it. Almost. Two and one. Nicely done. Good. All right, shake it out for a second. Whew, couple of deep breaths. You're going to rock, out, rock it out again, starting with number one, which is the eight quick video shot as fast as you can. Drop into four of your wide outs. Quick, remember, really good form. Drop that butt, chest up, shoulders back. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, quick. 80 side, again, athletic ready position. Always, stay with it. 
Yeah, exactly. Good pace, good pace, good pace. You're 15 seconds in, don't lose it. Good job, guys, so far so good. Body weight set, almost there. We're setting up these legs to very large muscle groups. You'll burn a ton of calories, stay with it. We'll keep it hitting the beginning, almost. Good job. Two and a one. Okay, right away, same idea. Eight of your power lunges for each side, and then wrap out eight of your skaters for each side. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Chest up, shoulders back. Good. Marathon, really good. She's doing actually more of the advanced way of doing it, but if again, if you have to, you just step back. All right, just a good rear lunge. You can even jump it. Jump and step back. Jump and step back. If you can, same idea for the skaters, almost. Eight seconds left. Skaters, stay really low with it. Get that leg to cross through. Almost, almost. Good job, Mare. Two and one. Okay, round number three. Same idea. The third exercise of the main four to start. 10 pulses at the bottom. No need for the push up. Just sprawl out, come back up, and do it again. 10 pulses. Three, two, one. Let's go. 10 at the bottom, chest always up. That's perfect form, guys. Weight back in your heels always. Good. Stay with it. Hell yeah, girls, what I'm talking about. Really good fight, guys. Come on, stay with it. Love Tuesday. Legs are crushing it. Stay with it. You have 10 seconds left. Then we have one more drill to rock out, guys, which is the power kicks. It's the hardest one. Stay with it. Two. One, good job. Shake it up for a second, last one. Those power kicks, 30 seconds. If you can, get it up, switch the top, find some speed. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds left, and the body weight set. We'll be good for now. Shake it out. Yeah, again, look at her height, that's perfect. Level with the ground every time. Switch the top if you want a modifier. Just kick, nice and easy. Start to pick up that pace, and then go for it. Ah, good. Almost there. Eight seconds left. Man, you're warmed up, girl. Almost, almost. Two, one. Nicely done. Ooh. Awesome, guys. Okay, you should be in the game now for sure. Legs should be warmed up. Heart rate's definitely crushing it. Starting to burn some calories. Let's start you with the dumbbell set. Again, guys, it's all legs. Let's see what you got. All right, guys, make sure you have whatever dumbbells you want for a leg day. So again, that's something specific you would do like squats by your side with or lunges by your side, but then you also want to be able to rack them up. That first drill, we're going to stay racked, which just means like elbows up and you're going to rest those dumbbells kind of on the anterior delts here. So for the first drill, what you want to do, this is all going to be dumbbell related for, dumbbell related for right now. Grab your dumbbells, pick them up, elbows up, stay wide, which can be more of a sumo stance. And I want you to squat, but add on by twos for the pulse at the bottom. I love to pulse. We did it yesterday. Let's do it again today for the legs. So rack them up. You have two pulses, drive up, and then four pulses. One, two, three, four, drive up, then six, eight, ten. Let's see how high up you can go. We'll do this for a good minute. It's a good solid minute for this round. The rest of the drills will be a little bit less, but for this one, one solid minute. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So rack them up. Weight back in those heels still. Pop the butt out. Mare's doing it good, good. Weight back in the heels. Awesome. Elbows up as much as you can. You don't have to go crazy high with it, but just make sure you're not dropping the chest. Yes, exactly. So add on by twos. This will really exhaust the legs pretty quickly here, guys. You definitely like to torture the legs. Good. And if you break that 90 degrees, you're really firing up those glutes. That doesn't mean to get down here, but stay up just past that 90 degree mark and just pulse whatever number you're at. Good. 25 seconds left, Mare. Good fight, guys. So those dumbbells are right on your shoulders. That butt pops back. Pulsing it out the bottom. 15 seconds left. Good fight. I'll let you shake it out for a second after this before we break up some single legs. Almost five seconds left. Good. Marilyn's really good with the breathing too here, guys. So always follow your breath. Almost two and one. Good. Okay, shake it out for a second. Now those dumbbells are gonna drop by your side. I want you to alternate. We'll stay on one leg. You're gonna do two of the uh, reps, and then you're gonna do two reps on the other side. Just keep alternating. So first, it's a rear lunge for the first rep. Come up, stay on that same leg, and do curtsy lunge, and come up. And then do it again, other side. Rear lunge, come up. Curtsy lunge, come up. Good? Three, two, one. 
Let's go. See what you guys got. We'll go 50 seconds now, so it's a little bit faster. Just 10 seconds. Not much. Good. So again, Mare might have to adjust because of her knee in terms of how low she can go. But if you can, try to get just hovering right above that ground and drive up. And then just angle it back but still rear and then drive up. Same idea. And then alternate. Up. Good. Other side. Up. Good. Good. You guys can even touch your knee to the ground, but just do not slam it. You don't want to hurt yourself here. Just go really light. Stay with it. She's got 12 seconds left. So far, so good? Perfect. Almost. Six seconds left. She's staying in really good posture. That's perfect. Two and one. Okay, you're next. We're going to go right away to a wall sit. This is only going to be 40 seconds, though, guys. So not too bad. We'll change it up a little bit later, but not right now. Only 40 seconds, drop into a really good wall sit with the dumbbells right by your side. If you have like a closet door or anything you can get onto, just try it out. You ready? 40 seconds only. Three, two, one. Let's go. Dumbbells right by her side. That's perfect. Shoulders stay across the mirror. <laughs> Merrily so used to doing curls in this position. If you want to add that to complement some arms you just hit this morning or yesterday, that works for me. Stay with it. Good. It's not that bad, it's only 20 more seconds. Good. Try again to stay 90 degrees. You don't have to go any further than that, but you want to make sure you're 90 degrees. Good. Mare crushing it, almost. She's got eight seconds left, then we'll quickly have her come back to her mat. Almost. Two, one. Good, so now, suitcase squats, where she's gonna tap the heads down of the dumbbells, Stay in this close stance, kill off those quads, and try to power herself up. This is a little bit of that fly over the weights. So let's see what you got. 30 seconds. We started with a minute, so we're dropping down. Minute, 50, 40, let's hit a 30. Three, two, one. Three, let's go. Touch the heads, pop. Touch the heads, pop. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Stay with it. As much power as she's got here. Stay in that good close stance, really good ski position. Watching the back, you don't want to ever curl. Pop the butt out, try to get down as low as you can. If you can touch the heads down the dumbbell, that's awesome, guys. Really good range of motion. She's got six seconds left. Good work. Almost, almost. Perfect, good job. Two and one, nicely done, good. Okay, shake it out, guys. You can put those weights down. We're gonna grab a band now and hit the first round of the band set. It's good work. Okay, guys, so grab whatever the band is that you guys have. Again, try to do Extra heavy or the ultra heavy, the big gray bands are perfect for this. If you need something a little bit um, less of a resistance, a little bit easier, then grab the other colors. There's like reds, blues, yellows, whatever you guys have. If you have a band, get it on now and you're gonna put it right above your kneecaps. So put on both legs, right above your kneecaps. This will be a really good band set to complement the weights you guys just did, especially for your butt. So let's see what you guys got. So band on there. Good. I'll even put mine on just to demonstrate this better. So again, right above your kneecaps. Really try to make sure those knees are always pushed out. Don't let them duck in like this throughout all these exercises we're about to do. Good. Okay, the first one is gonna be shuffle squats. Let's have you actually go back to the original spot you were just were for the shuffle squats because it's more room. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one foot right in the middle and shuffle over to the left and then shuffle over to the right. So no need for the weights, just the band. Let's try to just crush that pace. Stay nice and light on those feet. Good. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. It's only 30 seconds. Let's go. Good shuffles. Perfect. Stay with it. So again, make sure those knees are pushed out. Don't let them duck in like this. Push them out. Stay low. Pop that butt out. Really challenge that band. Good. Follow out that breathing. She's doing perfect with it. Stay with it. 12 seconds left. Nice, guys. We love bands for leg day, so if you can keep up with this extra heavy one, this is great. Almost. Two and one. Okay. Right away, come to the edge of your mat. Use the mat as a good gauge. 30 seconds. Your next one is going to be quick feet, running it out as fast as you can. Stay wide. Just move those feet. It's like you're a football player. Soften the joints. Always athletic ready position. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Good. Steady out the breathing. Chest stays up. Heart rate stays up. That is perfect. You'll feel almost like you're jiggling here, but you got this, guys. Really good fight. Stay with it. Nice control. Awesome, guys. Good job. 
Notice she's doing this perfectly. Really soft landing. She's not letting her posture break. She has eight seconds left. Good. Athletic ready position, butts popped out. Almost. Two and one. Okay, again, another 30 second drill. We're gonna use the mat as a gauge and she's gonna walk up it and walk back. Keeping the knees out. Walk up, little baby steps. Don't go any more than the length of your foot or even half a foot is good. And then walk yourself back. Staying in this low athletic ready position. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, good. Can even get a little bit lower if you really want to challenge, just watch the back. Don't let it curl, stay with it. Good fight, really good fight. Almost there, keep the pace. Good. And once you get more comfortable with it, she's doing really good, even with a little bit of a knee issue. But if, when you get comfortable with it, you can start to kind of pick up the pace. Just make sure you're going these little tiny baby steps, forward and back. Almost there. Two and one. Awesome. Okay, you're next. For this first round of band, for the set, we're going to do um, a ladder set of the fire hydrants. Fire hydrants are awesome for the side of that glute and hip area. So get into all fours like this, on your knees and hands, shoulders stay in line with the wrist, and you're gonna pick up just one leg at a time, try to keep it up there, and you're gonna pulse, okay? So again, if you don't have a band, you'll still feel this without a band. Just try to keep the pace. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So left leg up, good. We're gonna do 40 seconds on one side, 40 seconds on the other, trying to pulse it up there, good. This is the first ladder, guys. This will take a little bit of time, but you got this. Guys, so keep it up, pulse it out. Nice, how's it feel, Mayor? <laughs> Good. Fire hydrants are some of my face. And with a really thick band, guys, this is hard. She's got 15 seconds left, it's long. Good. Key is definitely to try and make sure you're not kicking back with it or rotating the hip just directly to the side. She's got five seconds left. Good, stay with it, stay with it. Two, one. Okay, let's try to go right to the other side. If you guys do need a break, you can just drop into a quick child's pose, reset those hips and glutes, and then do it again. Good. Ready? Right side. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. You can probably see on this side a little bit better with her form. She's really good with staying directly to the side, not rotating that hip out. Just challenge that side of the glute, guys. It's good. Stay with it. Focus on your breathing. Awesome. Good. You guys just passed that halfway. You're about 25 seconds in, so 15 seconds left. Good, Mayor. Awesome. Stay with it. Eight seconds. Good. She's staying up pretty high. Remember, you're trying to pulse. Don't go full range. Two and one. Good. Okay, that was the 40s. Now we're doing it right away, same idea, left side first, then right side. We'll do 30 seconds each and then 20 seconds each. Try to go back to back now. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Keep it up there. Breathe it out. That is awesome. Good fight. Good. Again, guys, try to always make sure shoulders stay right in line with the wrist. Good. Steady it out. She has 12 seconds left. 30 second rounds. Definitely gonna feel that burn, guys. Come on. Five seconds left, girl. Good fight. Two and one. Exactly the same idea. Let's try to go right away, other side. Go. Good. Keep it up there and pulse. If you guys are really starting to die by now, my suggestion would be to hit like four or eight. Four or eight is a really good number to count in your head. It's really good for like dancers even. So if you just think in your head in terms of like the beats and rhythms, four and eights are good. Four, relax, eight, relax, whatever you can hit guys. So if you gotta break it out, break it out. She's got six seconds left, so nicely done. Mare has not stopped yet. She's a pro. Two, one, good. Okay, one more time, let's go right into it. Try as best we can, 20 seconds. It's a speed set now. Let's go. Left leg up, 20 seconds, good. So you guys really gotta trust the endurance in these legs. You guys all got really strong legs, so trust them, stay with it, keep pushing it, you're doing really good. Six seconds left, almost, almost, almost. Two and one, exactly the same idea. Let's go right into it, good, I need to stop the clock, guys. You're doing good. 
Finish strong. 15 seconds, almost, come on. Good, keep breathing, Mary, don't hold that breath. Eight seconds. That burn should be kicking in big time now, guys, but you've got this, almost. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really good fight, guys. Okay, we're gonna reset, do a, another dumbbell round. Let's take off the bands. Keep it rocking, guys, good job. We are gonna go right away to our second round of the dumbbell. So again, grab whatever weights you just rocked the dumbbell set. We're doing the set again, but we are gonna change the counts now. So instead of going from the minute to then the 50 seconds and the 40 and the 30 for those four drills, we're gonna go the opposite. So that first drill that we did, that add-on sumo, instead of doing this for a minute, we're gonna do this only for 30. And then everything else thereafter is 40, 50, and then we're gonna end with a minute with those suitcase jumps, which are gonna be the worst, so fun. Yes. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? So that first one, it's only 30 seconds. Rack them up, again, elbows up. Stay wide in the sumo squat. You want your toes to angle out slightly so that they follow your kneecaps when you get down. It's really watch good form. Three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds, add on by twos. Tap twice, drive up. Do it again. Tap four times. Three, four, drive up. Good. Break that 90 degrees just by a little bit. Break the 90 so she's perfect. And always keep the chest up. Make sure you're not doing this, not flexing at the hips too much. Just stay up, pop the butt out. Really flatten that back. Really good chest up. You're almost there. Good. Six seconds left. Good. Almost. Two and one. Perfect. Okay, your 40 second round. Grab the weights by your side. Let's get back at alternating the rear lunge and the curtsy. Do them again on one side to start. Rear lunge, curtsy. Same idea on the other side. Rear lunge, curtsy. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. 40 second round now, guys. Good. Stay with it, that's perfect. Good, so Mary's actually getting really low, which is awesome. She's crushing it. She's showing you guys really good form. But again, try to, if you have to modify, you can just step back nice and easy. If you can do it, get low as you can, just hovering right above that ground. Same idea with the curtsy, hover, drive yourself up. Good. She has 15 seconds left. Alternate your legs still, so we're getting both in. Good fight, guys, you're killing it, almost. Five seconds left. Stay with it. Good reps, good reps, good reps. Almost. Two and one. Nicely done. Okay, that's the 40. Let's get right over to the wall sit. This is a 50 second wall sit. Still not crazy, you guys can manage it, but the legs should be set up pretty good now. Let's see what you got. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. 50 seconds, guys. Bear down. Put those weights right by your side. If the weights start to get too heavy, just drop one, you can hold the other one right on your thighs. If it's really getting too tough, just drop both. So try to breathe, keep the pace. And again, you wanna make sure you're in that 90 degrees. 90 degrees, perfect, good. So she's awesome right now, stay with it. Definitely make sure that your knees are over your ankles. You don't want them kicked back too far and you don't want them too far in front. Almost, good. Man, it's too easy. 12 seconds left, and the hardest one's coming right up, guys. So you got a minute of this suitcase. Plyos, almost. Three, two, and one. Awesome, all right, come here. Okay, for this one, it's a minute, guys. This is gonna get really rough. If you can, trust your endurance to kind of get through as much as you can, but if you wanna count it out, again, go back to the eights or the fours. Eights or fours are a really good number, so maybe do eight reps, shake it out, do it again, eight reps. The clock's gonna go for one minute. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sink down. Tap those heads down if you can. Drive yourself up. Good. Do as much as you can. When you're really dying out from those quads, shake it out. Good fight. Stay with it. Yeah, perfect. She's staying really close to this too, guys. So good, strong quads. Make sure you're not curled over. Pop that butt back. Tap the head. Big flat off. Stay with it, Mare. Good fight. Good. She is already at the halfway mark, guys, so it's perfect. She hasn't stopped yet. Told you. Celebrity over here. Good. Almost, almost. Good fight. She's got 20 seconds left, guys. This is a minute. We started at a minute with the last set and dropped down. This used to be only 30 seconds, now it's a minute. Finish strong, guys. Come on. 10 seconds left. She has not stopped. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Almost. Five. Four, three, two, 
Last one. Hell yeah. Good job. Nicely done, guys. Good fight. Okay, put the dumbbells down again. We'll get right back up to that band set. Second round, we're going to change it up a little bit. Okay, guys. Dumbbells for that second round. You guys are done. You're going to put your bands back on for the second round of your band. Leave the dumbbell still by your side, so we're gonna come back in a single leg set, but that set that you guys just did twice through, you're good with that, so perfect. Okay, so bands, right above your kneecaps, let's go back to the 30 second drills. We'll change up the ladder at the end. That first drill is that shuffle squat, so stay low, chest up, shoulders back, shuffle it out. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, remember to always keep those knees locked out. Don't let the band duck them in. Good. Soft landing, steady out that breathing. Good fight, guys. Laterals are awesome for leg day. Try to keep rocking it. You're almost there. You have 10 seconds left. Stay with him there. Good fight. Awesome, guys. Good job. You have five seconds left. Perfect. Two and one. Good posture. Keep maintain maintaining that. That's good. All right, chest up, shoulders back still. Back to your mat. I want the quick feet for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fast feet. Treat yourself like a football player, guys. Don't in on something in front of you. Really get in that zone and fight it out. See what you guys got. Stay with it. Nice. She's staying wide. If you have a mat, use it as a gauge, guys. It's really good. That's two little markers at the ends here. Stay wide. Almost. She's got 10 seconds left. Perfect. Stay with it, stay with it. Good, guys. Almost there, stay with it. Three, two, and one, perfect. Okay, let's go right to that saddle walk. So if you can, walk yourself up the mat, walk yourself up in the little baby steps. Three, two, one, let's go. Walk up. Remember, small, little, baby steps. That's all you gotta do. And then walk yourself back, same idea. Chest up, shoulders back. Really good fight, guys, stay with it. Good, keep going there. 15 seconds left. Her posture is staying really good, guys. If she can maintain that, that is awesome. Stay with it, stay with it. Eight seconds left. Good fight. Almost, almost. Awesome, guys. Stay strong. Back of the mat. Two and one. Good job. Okay, so instead of doing the ladder set for the fire hydrants, we're going to get you on your back and let's do the ladder set for those glutes. Good. Now we're going to adjust the mat so you guys can see this a little bit better. So angle your mat to fit the good camera spot. Perfect. Okay, so this one you're going to lie on your back. We have three drills here instead of just two that we're gonna do a ladder set with. So 40 seconds each, then you have 30 seconds each, and then 20 seconds each. The first one is that bridge. So Marilee's gonna lie down on her back, keeping the band same position right above your kneecaps, shoulder width apart with your heels, keep them right under your knees. So you don't want them too far in front of you, you definitely don't want them too close to your butt. So right over the, the knees, ankles to knees, and you guys are gonna stay shoulder width apart with the band, First drill is that straight up bridge. So you're gonna drive the hips up, squeeze the glutes, and then come down nice and easy. Arms can help you stabilize to this side. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Drill number one, guys. Perfect. So nice shoulder width apart, driving those hips up. You're gonna squeeze the glutes at the top. Perfect. This is like one of the best drills you can do for the glutes, guys. I love bridges. Stay with it. Good. It's gonna be a little bit of a long set to start, guys, but you got this. 20 seconds in, 20 seconds left. Good job. Shoulder width apart, always keeping that band out. Don't let those knees duck in. She has eight seconds left. Perfect. Steady out that breathing. You can definitely keep that going. Almost. Two, one. Let's keep the clock going right away. You're gonna stay up the height of the bridge and pulse. She's doing it perfectly. You don't have to go down really far. You just stay up at the height. Squeeze those glutes and pulse it out. I'm sure by now you guys have learned that I love to pulse, so let's keep it going. Good. Stay with it. She has about 20 seconds left. Really good fight. Really good fight. Good. Band is staying out. She's challenging it big time by keeping the toes up. So the main focus here, guys, is digging those heels into the ground. If it helps you to really drive those legs up or the toes up, that's a good good gauge there to help you kind of drive those heels in almost. Two and one. Okay, now stay up at the height and you're gonna open and close. This is number three. 40 seconds, one more time. Let's go for it. I'm not gonna stop that clock, guys. So try as best as you can to not rest here. Your hips are still up. Don't let them drop down. And you're gonna open and close at the top. You don't have to go crazy full range. Just open and close, just past those hips and then back in. This way the hips stay up, they don't drop down. Almost. 
She only has 12 seconds left, guys. She's crushed it so far. We'll just finish the 40. We'll do a 30 second coming up, almost. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, we need a break. Take a break for a second, and let's go again. So first, uh, second round, now 30 seconds. Let's see what you guys got. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drive up, control the down. Big squeeze the top, drive up. Good. Perfect bridge, guys. Stay with it. Heel, stay dug in. Still focus on keeping those knees out. Awesome. 15 seconds left. Good fight, Mary. Almost there. Good, good, go. Stay with it. Big drive. Stay with it. Good. Five seconds. Then we're going to go right away back to the pulses. She's doing really good. Two, one. Keep that pace. Let's go. Good. 30 seconds. Next 30. Pulsing it up. Squeezing those glutes, guys. Nice. Good. If your toes start to cramp or the calves start to cramp, just put your toes down. You don't have to stay up so high to challenge it so much. Just relax them nice and easy. So be careful with that. Almost. Eight seconds left. And then we're right back to those clams. Stay with it. Two, one. Good. Okay. Stay up the height. Open and close. Stay with it. No need to go down. You'll see if you go up too wide, your hips are going to drop. So keep them up there. Just go right past those hips and back down. There you go. Much better. Nice done. Stay with it. Yeah, good. Good fight. This is not meant to be rushed, guys. You don't have to crush a fast pace here. It's good reps. Always challenging that band. She has eight seconds left. Good fight, good fight, good fight. Almost. Nice. Two. And one, okay, we're gonna go right to a 20 second round. So shake it out again really quickly. We'll keep the pace, the clock's not gonna stop. One more minute, 20 seconds through those three drills. Three, two, one, let's go. Each one, 20 seconds, full range bridge. Drive up, squeeze the glutes, control the down. Good. Really emphasize that squeeze the top, guys, come on. Six seconds left, close, 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 stay with it. Two, one, stay up and pulse it out. No need to rest now, guys, you got this. Good fight. Good, good, good. Nice, guys, that's perfect. 10 seconds left. Even if you're doing this without a band, guys, it should be kicking in by now, almost. Good, fight, fight, fight. Two, one, finish it. Clams, last 20 seconds. Good job. Let's go, keep up with that breathing. There you go. And fix the placement of your heels if you have to. Just keep them right under your knees. Eight seconds left. She's close. Let's go. Almost. Two and one. Good fight. Okay. You guys can take your bands off. Nicely done, Mary. That was awesome. Take your bands off. We're going to get you guys to a single leg dumbbell set. We're almost done, so stay with it, guys. Keep the pace. Good job. Okay, guys. We are now on to your single side dumbbell drill. We've already done two rounds of the dumbbell drills. Uh, we're going to rock out a third round where we're going to focus on individual sides to finish up here. I love single legs. So you're going to grab your dumbbells that you're going to rock out for the singles that you've been using this whole time. You can even maybe even challenge this a little bit. It's 30 seconds for three drills. We'll do the left side first for all three. Shake it out. Do the right side. Same idea for all three. First drill is that rear lunge or split squat position. You're going to hold it there and you're going to pulse for 30 seconds. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get you going. I won't even tell you what's coming up next. Three, two, one. Let's go. So always good posture, as you guys know by now. Stay down and really pulse it out. You guys want to try to keep a really good weight if you can. Dig that heel into the ground, that front heel, and just pulse that back leg. So she'll adjust a little bit because of her knees. If you can get as low as I can right now, then that's perfect. Good. That's also really good. You can even do this without the weight. Stay with it. Stay with it, cluster on just that one leg. You're almost there, guys. You only have six seconds left. Then we're gonna do the same leg, but we're gonna pulse for the curtsy. Good. Stay with it. Two and one. Okay, come up quickly and then shake it out and then drop back into it. Good. Ready? Two, one, let's go. You can give it a second break, but not too much, guys. You're good. So again, with the curtsy, try as best as you can to do that rear lunge, but then just angle it back to the side, that left side of this one. Pulse it out. Stay with it. Dig that heel in the ground. Keep the knee in the back as close as you can to the bottom. You should feel that burn on the side. Good. You have six seconds left. Nice done. Stay with it, Mary. Really good fight. 
two, one. Good, okay. Same leg, let's finish it. Not too much of a break, just drop the weights. You're gonna touch the right hand down right outside the arch of the left foot. Sprinter position, drive up that right knee. So power the left, three, two, one. Let's go, step back, drive up, step back, drive up. This is where whatever power you've got left in that left glute, get it out now. You just strengthen it up, drive with that power. 15 seconds left, easy work, good fight. I was killed today, guys. I'm assuming you guys have as well. It's awesome. Just keep the pace. No need to stop now. You've really got this, guys. Stay with it. Stay with it. Almost. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, shake it out for a second. Take a couple really good deep breaths, and let's go right away back to the right side now. Same three drills. So first drill, again, you have just the pulsing here. I'll let you come up for a second. We'll pulse with the curtsy. Come up for a second, and then finish with the sprinters. Ready, Mar? Pick them up. Whatever you guys got left in the tank, guys, you're close. Three, two, one. Let's go. Step it back. Remember, digging the right heel now into the ground. So don't put the pressure on the toe. Make sure your knee is not pushed over the toe. You want to be able to see your shoelaces. That's a good key. See your shoelaces. Bounce that back knee in the back. Just hover it. Okay. Stay there. Really feel that burn, guys. It's going to kick in. Stay with it. Stay with it. Eight seconds left. Good. Almost, guys. You crushed it. Really good work. Two, one. Okay, come up. Shake it out for a second. And now drop it back for the curtsy. Let's finish it. Three, two, one. Let's go. So even for this curtsy, guys, you want to make sure that that toe is in front. Even though you're angled off to the side here and you're burning it out, that doesn't mean to put the toe this way. Still keep it directly in front. Almost. Good. Really good reps, guys. You guys are killing it. Good fight. 12 seconds left. That powers one is coming up next, guys. So good reps. Almost. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop them. Okay, let's see what you got. Same idea. Left hand by that right arch. Drive up the left knee. Three, two, one. Let's go. That power is going to come from that right glute now, guys. Whatever you got left, go. Touch. Bah, good. Touch. Bah, really good power. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Stride back, watch the back. You don't want to curl it here, so step it back. Good form. 12 seconds left. You guys are close, stay with it. Single leg, let's drive it home. Almost. Five seconds left, just keep the pace. Three, two, one. Nicely done, good, okay. Shake it out for a second. We've got a really quick finisher, guys. We're actually gonna go back to the wall sit. So let's see what you guys got. Okay, All right, so here we go. You guys have done mostly everything. We're gonna get a finisher round. This is gonna include a wall sit to start. All I want now, guys, is a minute and a half wall sit. Still not too bad. You guys can definitely crush it. But right after that minute and a half, kill all those legs, whatever you got left, try to do it with your dumbbells. Right after that, we're crushing 100 jumping jacks. Oh. It's up to you with how you kind of want to pace it out. Maybe hit 25 and shake it out or just go 100 straight through. We'll see how Marley does with this. So a minute and a half with the weights for the wall set. Remember the good form. If you need to take a break, shake it out for a second, but drop right back into it. If you have to drop one dumbbell, that's fine. Put the other one here. Or if you have to drop both, that's fine. Just stay with it, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Minute and a half wall sit. She's gonna stay in that L position. You guys have done really well. Whatever you got left here, bear down, concentrate on form. <laughs> She's gonna hit some more curls. Keeping that 90 degrees, guys, that is perfect. The knees right in line with those heels. Really good finish, guys. Your legs definitely got crushed today. I'm sure most of you guys really killed it. Just finish strong here. So whatever you guys got left, you just passed the 30 second mark. Good job. Mare, how's it feel? <laughs> Dying. Dying. Easy work. Easy work, exactly. See? Half right there, guys. That's 45 seconds in, 45 seconds left. Breathe it out. Take your time. Oof. Just chill out that breathing, guys. You got this. Good. You can see her form is perfect. She crushes wall sets. Wall sets are hard for a lot of you guys, and I totally understand. So if you have to take a break, break for a second, but come right back at it. If you can, hold that position. That is awesome. Stay with it. You have... 20 seconds left. Right after this, we'll go right into it. No stopping. I'm going to trust her with the counting. 
I'll trust you guys with counting. 100 jumping jacks. You have 10 seconds left. Good. Perfect. You're almost there, Mare. Almost. Two and one. Good. Okay. Just drop those dumbbells, put them wherever. Come closer to here. Hit these 100 jumping jacks. No need to rest. Again, guys, break it up into 25s if you need to. Go for it. I'll trust her with the counting, so really concentrate on the counting. Squeeze your core, guys. Steady out your breathing for sure. Don't hold your breath for this. Good. If your arms are sore from yesterday, you'll shake those out. If your legs are sore now, you'll shake them out. Your metabolism is definitely cranked into gear. So take advantage of it. Finish strong. Burst this out. Last second to really get that high intensity in there. Good fight. Good. So I got the clock on this. I'm just curious to see how long it's going to take her to hit 100 jumping jacks. We just passed that 30 second mark. Good fight, Mary. Whatever you got left, girl, finish it. Again, break it up into 25 if we need to. She's going to go straight through, though. I mean, I think you guys know for sure. She's going to go straight through. Let's see if you guys can go straight through, too. Good job. Stay with it. Watch anything that's around you guys. Try not to do these with dumbbells by your side. You don't want to fall. Bust up your ankle. <laughs> Good. Stay with it. That's the minute mark right there. She's still going, guys. So trust the endurance. Finish strong. Good. Come on. Jumping jacks can be pretty easy, guys. It's really efficient. Nicely done. Ooh. Good face. No. <laughs> Good. Awesome, guys. You guys crushed it. Really good work today, guys. There's 100 jumping jacks done, a minute and a half wall sit. Good work. Monday, Tuesday, upper body, lower body. Really good job, guys. Let's cool it down. We'll stretch it out for a second, and then we'll send you guys off. Good job. Nicely done, Mare. Two days in a row, girl. All right, come here. Come to the back of your mat. Good. Let's do some good arm circles, guys. Shake it out. Nicely done. Okay, let's definitely get back to that really good groin stretch, guys. You can rock it out side to side. We crush the legs. Let's make sure we're loosening these suckers back up. You're warmed up tremendously now, so take advantage of that stretch. Good. Sink down into the hip flexors. Let's definitely do this one more time today. Again, you can move them around. Now that you're nice and mobile here, warmed up perfectly. Good. Do the same idea on the other side. Really good fight, guys. Great day. Steady out that breathing. Go forward. Open and close. Nice. Mare, good fight. Straight through 100. Ooh. Would expect nothing less. <laughs> good down dog, guys. A good up dog one more time. Last and final. Couple good deep breaths. Good. It's your chance to kind of zone out a little bit. Walk back to your toes. Nice. Hamstring stretch. Awesome, guys. Okay, come up nice and easy. Take your time with it. Good job, guys. You guys crushed it. Okay, until next time, we have core coming up next, guys. So stay tuned. Really good work. Stay healthy. Stay safe, guys. Awesome. Thanks, babe. <laughs> You're welcome.